Well, President Biden today honoring the legacy of Justice Stephen Breyer. He also doubled down on his promise of a history-making court pick. Breyer's legacy includes supporting the Affordable Care Act, expanding free speech, and defending a woman's right to choose by upholding abortion rights. Today, Breyer seemed to acknowledge the turbulent time, saying the great American experiment is not over yet and called on the next generation to uphold the Constitution. They'll determine whether the experiment still works. And of course, I am an optimist and I'm pretty sure it will. Now, President Biden has promised to name the first black woman to the high court and a Californian is high on the list of candidates. That's right. And tonight, legal experts are weighing in on the short list of replacements. With a Democratic president in office, replacing Justice Stephen Breyer won't tilt the conservative majority made up of the Supreme Court. But President Biden's pick would be historic. Today, he backed his campaign promise to fill the vacancy with a black woman. Of course, we've never had a black woman Supreme Court justice. It would uh, change the nature of the court. Uh, further diversify it, which is incredibly important, right, that the Supreme Court looks like the rest of the United States. Shortlist contenders include California's youngest Supreme Court Justice, Leandra Kruger. What a background. She really has all the right moves to become a Supreme Court Justice. McGeorge uh, Law Professor Leslie school. Jacobs says Kruger is well known as cautious and deliberate. Kruger, 45 years old and an L.A. native, was appointed to California's Supreme Court in 2014 by Governor Jerry Brown. She graduated from Yale Law School, served as a clerk on the Supreme Court, and worked for Bush and Obama Justice Departments. And I think certainly a lot of people and a lot of Californians, right, are, uh, are wondering if she's going to be um, representing not only women, black women, black experience, but also the California experience. Mindy Romero, founder of the Center for Inclusive Democracies, says the current polarized political climate will be a factor in the nomination process. And that also can bring out surprises and 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 people that will want to vehemently oppose this woman just for who she is. And Democrats are feeling pressure to confirm Biden's nomination before midterm elections. The Democrats have control of the Senate. And so it's important um, to get the confirmation process done now uh, before the next election when they might possibly lose it because it's a majority vote. Well, it will certainly be interesting to see how all this plays out. Breyer is set to retire at the end of his term this summer.